So what we're doing here today is a, a prescribed fire, what people often refer to as a control burn. Most of the objective today for this fire is to reduce fuel loads and to manage the grasslands for rare species habitats and concerns. Also one of the objectives is to uh, lessen the tree load in the grasslands. Uh, grasslands are supposed to be grasslands. We do live in a fire dependent ecosystem here on Cape Cod in southeastern Massachusetts, the Pine Barrens, Scrub Oak Barrens. You'll get pine dro needle drop underneath of it. That's avail all available fuels, but then you'll get the taller grass that gets into the three or four feet up the tree. Then you can get other fuels as they refer to as ladder fuels that can climb up into the tree. That'll cause the fire to travel up into the canopy of the uh, tree. On pitch pine, it also can uh, catch the bark on fire and into the canopy of the tree because it's full of uh, pitch, pitch pine. Our system is diverse enough and has a diverse enough uh, sets of habitats so that it remains uh, resilient with climate change as the climate warms here in New England and we see new species of plants and bugs. It protects against wildfire hazards, also protects the community, also protects for again climate resiliency in reducing the fuel load and letting mother nature become more diverse in the system. They put up with a little smoke currently when we do the prescribed fire, but a wildfire and its smoke would be far more hazardous to the community than prescribed burns and controlled burns. And our surrounding communities do not see wildfire that often. We have uh, annual fire trainings that the surrounding fire companies participate in. Their firefighters will have the basics to respond to any wildfire in their community. It provides for climate resiliency for, and diversity and community uh, protection from wildfire hazards. 